Hi everyone welcome back to my channel, today I will explain about Archangel Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel is an angel who is known as a messenger. He delivers messages to people from God. He is mentioned in both the Old and New Testaments, along with several other religious texts. Purpose Gabriel's main purpose is to deliver messages. In the Catholic religion, he is known as the patron saint of messengers, telecommunication workers, and postal workers. September 29th is his feast day, celebrated with Michael and Raphael as well. He is said to help people remain open and honest and always seek the truth, in themselves and others. He helps guide through intuition. He also protects children. One of Gabriel's possible future purposes is to blow the trumpet to indicate Jesus' return to earth. But there is speculation with this fact, as several people have been designated with this task. Different Bible passages point to different people. Origins. Depending on the religious text being viewed, Gabriel is one of several other archangels. According to Jewish tradition, there are seven total archangels, with Gabriel being the second in rank. In the Bible, only Michael and Gabriel are mentioned out of the seven listed in Jewish text. But only Michael is directly referred to as an archangel. Legends and Stories There are not many stories of Gabriel found in religious text. But of the ones we do have, they give us a clear understanding of why Gabriel is known as a messenger. Gabriel and David In the book of David, we find Daniel coming to terms that the 70-year period of Israel's captivity is coming to an end. The Jews will be able to return to their own land with time. Daniel prays with hope for himself and his people. His prayer is answered, but not as expected. God sends Gabriel to Daniel, who helps him interpret and understand his visions. With this new understanding, Daniel is able to see that the future is bright. God wanted Daniel to understand that the future of Israel was part of God's promise to restore the Jews. He wanted Daniel to understand that Israel's return was not a sign of the coming of the kingdom but a step towards rebuilding the temple and fulfilling God's plan. Gabriel appears to Daniel a total of three times to help him with visions. Gabriel and the Virgin Mary God sent Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He was to find a virgin named Mary, who was pledged to marry a man by the name of Joseph, a descendant of David. Gabriel found Mary and told her that she was highly favored by the Lord. Mary was at first concerned with Gabriel's wording. She didn't know if the angel had come to give her good or bad news. Gabriel consoled Mary, telling her not to worry. Again, he told her how special she was in the eyes of God and that she would give birth to a son. She was to name the baby Jesus. The baby was going to be the son of God. Again, Mary was confused. She asked Gabriel how this was possible. She wasn't pregnant and she was a virgin, saving herself for her upcoming marriage to Joseph. Gabriel again addressed her concerns, telling her that the Holy Spirit would come upon her and God would overshadow her. Gabriel told Mary that nothing was impossible with God. Mary proclaimed herself T to be a servant of the Lord and agreed to Gabriel's message. Gabriel then left. Mary did become pregnant and gave birth to Jesus in the Christmas story known by so many. Family. Angels do not have families in the traditional sense. But they are all considered to be children of God. Appearance. In artistic representations, Gabriel is often shown clothed in white or blue. He is often carrying a white lily. Other times, he's holding a trumpet, shining lantern, branch from paradise, or a scroll. He is often shown in a scene depicting the Annunciation. Symbology. The most common symbol associated with Gabriel is the white lily. The flower stands for purity and truth. 
Another symbol of the Archangel is a bird quill and ink. This symbolizes his main purpose of serving as a messenger for God. Gabriel, also known as Gibral, the will of God, and the messenger, is the true Archangel of chastity, faith, kindness, revelations, and messages. His name means strength of God and is known to be the left hand of God and a fragment of the Holy Spirit. In contrast to Michael, who is the right hand of God, Gabriel being one of the angels, purest and most powerful in paradise. Gabriel is the archangel of revelation, motherhood, creation and temperance, among others. Like other archangels and angels, Gabriel was created between day one and day two of creation. The archangel is God's personal messenger, he is God's intercessor to mankind, always going on missions in Father's name. Caring, loving and obedient, he is the moral opposite of Beelzebub, the left hand of Satan. While Gabriel is loving, merciful, honest and wise, Beelzebub is hateful, cruel, deceptive and idiotic. Among these missions, it is believed that he was the one who destroyed the towns of Sodom and Gomorrah, that he was the one who killed the mighty Nephilim in Enoch's time, and he is also believed to be the angel of death who killed all the firstborn in Egypt. However, his most notable feat was to appear to Mary and announce a coming savior of mankind. Due to his effectiveness in complying with God's orders, Gabriel is nicknamed the will of God. Like the other angels, Gabriel's true form cannot be seen by humans. They say that its light is so intense that it burns the eyes of those who see it and explodes the eardrums of those who hear its voice. As a true archangel, Gabriel's appearance shifts to whatever the angel desires or needs at that very moment. However, Gabriel will always have at least 1 to 12 pairs of golden wings on his back though they can also be white wings with blue tips that glow brighter than the dawn. Gabriel is considered to be the most human of the angels, often being seen spending his time among them. Humans generally consider him easy to be around, as his laid-back and eccentric personality is able to put others at ease. Despite this, he is incredibly cunning and can be serious when the circumstances calls for it. Due to these traits, he is one of the few beings that can calmly withstand and even understand those with endless cynicism, cunning behavior, sarcastic wits, con artist nature, and even counterculture beliefs, while remaining friendly and even wisecracking in his approach and making fun of their manipulative nature. He is very calm laid back, and level-headed both in his angel and human forms. Gabriel greatly understood honor and noble sacrifice, so much that God had given him was his great wisdom in dealing with things in a peaceful and wise manner. He is highly loyal and loving towards him and his siblings, even towards his fallen brethren. So much that he, along with Michael, volunteer to guide and protect Jesus from behind the scenes to his journey and mission on earth. 